Welcome back. It is really good to see you again. If you have a Galaxy Watch 6, 4 or 5, this video will be relevant to you. A couple of housekeeping items first. We are in the middle of setting up Discord, which will be live next week in order to communicate more effectively and more productive so we can help each other. In the meantime, if you have any questions with regards to your Galaxy Watch, head over to my Instagram account, leave me a voice message and I will try to reply apply to every single one of you. Number one, Spotify. This feature has been here before and I took it away for some reason, but it came back with the latest Spotify update. You can now select your Galaxy Watch speaker for any playlist, podcast or song, you name it, which wasn't here before. Well, it was and then I took it away, which is really weird, but you can now select any song you like and play it on your Galaxy Watch speaker out loud if that is for you please make sure to update Spotify first. Number two, battery life extension. That has always been a discussion point and a sore point for many of you. Go into settings, go into, we're gonna do this here together and go into settings, go to developer options, go all the way to window animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. Go into each section here and change the animation scale to 0.5. It will not drastically improve your battery life, but it will help to ex extend it a little bit. Please make sure to enable this for all three sections. Number three, if you have issues with notifications, I know that sometimes notifications do not appear or do not pop up on your Galaxy Watch. There is a simple fix for that. Please go into your settings again. Again, I'm going to do this here with you. Security and privacy. And then all the way down there, you have a section that is called risk detection. At first, this may sound counterintuitive. Turn this off. That means any notification you are receiving will come through to your watch regardless. And that is also helpful if you have tattoos on your um, number four is the indicator status on your Galaxy Watch. And that's a little icon you see on top. And sometimes you just want to get rid of it because when you put on like do not disturb, for example, you will see this icon all the time. Again, you go into settings, advanced features, and then you go into status indicators. And then you basically have show always or hide after two seconds so if that is something that annoys you or you just don't you're just not a big fan of that go in here and hide after two seconds and that should really solve that problem the next one is a bit more involved but it is also really good to know sometimes you have watch faces and your heart rate isn't up to date or it's not working or something else just seems off go into settings again go into apps and then go into the permission manager and here you will see a whole list of items like calendar call logs camera contacts and let's let's say we go into sensors for example and then you can see right here basically the permissions that have been enabled to use your sensor in conjunction with a particular application and you can here turn this on or off and basically allow and well not allow if you like that but it will show you which application do not have access to your sensor or anything else that is in that list and that can be helpful and that can also solve a lot of issues if you are plagued by the google play services and the latest update should have gotten rid of this basically the battery drain we're talking about on the galaxy watch 6 but also the 5 and 4 the 5 and 4 did not receive the latest update some have basically reported that the latest update for the galaxy watch 6 has solved the battery drain issue now i have seen somebody coming up with a solution that sounds super counterintuitive at first but it worked for that person so let's try this together let's go into settings again let's go into general and let's go into text to speech and then you will have several options here preferred engine is samsung tts settings but change that to speech services by Google. For some reason that user has changed those settings and it got rid of the Google Play service drain in the list and battery life was much better after that super counterintuitive at first but let me know if that works. 